Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm gonna walk through using home cards in custom Alexa skills. So Alexa skills are mostly about voice interactions, but sometimes visuals can enhance the overall user experience. And if that is the case with a skill that you're building, you have two options. You can use home cards and display templates. Home cards are displayed in the Alexa companion app and display templates are shown on screen, which mostly at this point means that they're only displayed on the Amazon Echo Show. So that makes home cards the best option if you want your skill to provide visual content to users regardless of the device that they're using. And that's what we're gonna be taking a look at setting up. So let's take a look at using cards in a custom Alexa skill. We'll start by creating a new Alexa skill using the Alexa skills kit command line interface, the ask CLI. I go into this in more detail in another video, but basically what I'm doing is creating a boilerplate skill project and deploying it. The CLI creates the skill in the Amazon developer portal and the skills backend service is being set up as a Lambda function in AWS. The code that's created by the CLI is for a simple hello world skill, but it uses home cards. So we can use that as our starting point here. So the part of the code that sends the card is this line 26 here, actually again at line uh, 32. Um, but this is the, uh, we're gonna just test this with the launch request. And so you can see the launch request is calling that say hello method, which is this down here. And this skill is using the Alexa skills kit um, SDK for node. So it, as you can see, is super simple to create and send a card. So right now the card that's being created is a, a simple card. Um, uh, let me look at this one here in 26, simple card with a, a title, hello world, and the body content, hello world also. Let's just test this out. I'll deploy it first and I'm using the Alexa skills kit CLI which just came out which is uh, pretty cool I'll talk about that in another video take a minute to deploy and then we'll go over and uh, take a look at it and I've got my um, um, my companion app pulled up over there okay so my companion app is pulled up and displayed here let's test it out Alexa open hello world Hello world. And you can see the card that was sent is, uh, is super simple. The title is Hello World, the body is Hello World, and the name of the app is Hello World, which is what's showing up there um, underneath the, uh, down here underneath the, the title. But let's go over here and change it up so you can just see what's, uh, what's going on. So this is the title. And this is the body here. This is plain text, so you can't include any links um, or HTML, and so you're 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 pretty limited. Um, you can you can use line breaks. So, uh, whoops, new line, new line. Uh, but beyond that, that's all you can do with text. But let's take a look at that change. And you have up to. I think it's 8,000 characters total that you can use. And that's a combination of the title and the, uh, the body content along with the URLs for images. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So you can include one image, which we'll take a look at here shortly. So let's try this again. Alexa, open Hello World. Hello World. And now you can see the, um, the body content and the title has changed. And that's, uh, that's a very, very simple card. Let's um, change it up a little bit and we'll add uh, an image here. So the image, the way that you add an image is with an image object. And that is going to contain a, uh, a small URL and a large URL. And, and these are URLs that are provided for different viewing environments. So the uh, the cards can be pulled up on the um, Alexa show and uh, or the Echo show and in the Alexa companion app. And also there's a, a web, if you go to alexa.amazon.com, there's a, an Alexa companion app that's browser based where these will show up as well. Um, the requirements around the images, they, uh, the, the, they need to be under two megs. 
they need to be uh, stored in an SSL secure endpoint. And if you store them on S3, you need to make sure that their uh, cores are opened up um, to, to make them work. And uh, other than that, um, that's it. You just add it in here, uh, like right here. And let's, um, let's go ahead and deploy this and we'll give it a try, test it out. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try it out here. So Alexa, open Hello World. Alexa, open Hello World. Okay, so you can see this time there is my image. So that is, for the most part, that's that's all you need to do to use home cards in your, your skills. And again, home cards are, are a good option because they're sort of the lowest common denominator. You also have display templates, which you can use if you're targeting the, uh, the Amazon Echo Show. Uh, but right now they only show up on the show. So if you want to provide a visual element across uh, devices, you can do that with the companion app and using home cards. So hopefully this was valuable to you. If it was, please like the video and uh, subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.